Uh, I know, I know. I wanted to talk to you guys today about a couple things. I want to talk to you guys about astro, astro projection, projection and also face. I wanted to start this video off with you. I know it's kind of gay. Been making a lot of videos for you lately. But check me out. Here we go. You see this juice, right? It's called Boosted. This, by far, is the best juice that I've tasted, period. It's like strawberry milkshake. But, damn. Boy, is that bitch good. Now... I need to send you a bottle of this. You know, when my money gets right, I'll definitely be sending you a bottle of this so you could try it. And if you guys are wondering where my box mod is, it's kind of it's kind of hard to explain. It's in a shop right now, but uh, shoot, we had this backup penny mod, so it's whatever. All these motherfucking mods we got, it, it hits like a beast. You know, we build them coils like extra, extra gravy. And uh, we, we, we just badass at it. Good stuff. But damn, this juice, it's something to be, it's something to be fucked with, man. <coughs> but on to the more positive message of my video and all the cursing outside, out, out, out the way. Well, check me out, guys. And, and don't think I'm crazy for this, but you can think what you want because opinions are the cheapest commodities on earth. Here we go. What I've been doing lately, every single night, I've been laying down listening to binaural beats, listening to guided meditations and how to, you know, astral project, leave your body during sleep. Basically tap into that pineal gland and enter the spirit realm or the astral world, the fourth dimension, you know, however you want to call it. You know, a lot of people, this is going to go over your head. Because the government is designed to shut you down like that. They want you to, they don't want you to know what's right here. They don't want you thinking right here. They don't want you to know what's going on behind here. But once you, once you experience it and then you do your own research and you're like, yo, what the fuck was that? Because check me out. I'm sitting, I'm, I'm like, I'm laying in my bed and then. Just pop out of my body. Like, what the fuck is going on, right? It's a feeling that it's like, whoa, it's a whole nother world. You know you're not on drugs. You know you're not tripping. You know, you know that it's not, it's nothing that you've heard before. It's like really secret or, you know, only exposed to people who experience it or, um, Damn, whoever was walking in my apartment complex, I felt it in the ground. But, I mean, it's it's a feeling like, yo, this isn't, this third dimension reality that we're living in, this is just the, this might not even be the beginning. This is just a piece of, I guess, what we perceive. And it's so, it's so fun, astral projecting. Now, mind you. I haven't even left my house yet that I could uh that I can recall but just doing that like literally leaving your body it's like yo this feeling is is amazing it makes you feel powerful it makes you feel above reality and I think that's the best way to put it put it it makes you feel above reality because you just defied the laws of whatever you thought was real and you stepped into another dimension where even more possibilities take place. 
Now, I heard people tap into their third eye and, and have OBEs and astral travel. They, they seek guidance in the spiritual realm to s seek further assistance in their physical life. And it's such a great an amazing, humbling experience. Even though we all astral travel, we all do it at night. We just don't remember it. And we don't... Once you raise your level of consciousness and awareness, you will start to have recall. You'll be able to start to recall your astral traveling. And you'll also be able to induce it on your own. And, you know, step into that astral, astral plane on your, by yourself. So that is something that what I really want to do, and I'll put the video out there so I can, you know, you have to go in this with a, not only an open mind, but a, a carefree mind, a fearless mind. You have to go in with a positive mind. You have to go in, um, basically, you have to step into this world without doubt and basically get in tune with your higher self because me right now I feel so powerful I could be broke but at the end of the day I'm comfortable I'm comfortable you know living in my own skin and it's 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 a crazy feeling if you haven't astral projected ever I'll give you a guided meditation on how I do it. And I want to see a couple of reactions and see what, what do you guys think of it. You know, uh, the use of fluoride in your water. If you drink a lot of tap water, if you drink a lot of water with fluoride in it, you know, that's just that's messing up your brain. Look up a picture on Google, the brain before fluoride and the brain after a lifetime use of fluoride. And you'll see that it's doing it's just it's poisoning your mind, keeping your pineal gland, uh, you know, uh, I guess calcified. So to decalcify it, you know, you can eat a lot of karma-free foods, things that haven't been slaughtered. You know, you can uh, eat, eat more, uh, drink, um, you know, just stop drinking that fluoride and don't brush your teeth with the fluoride, all that good stuff. Stay away from fluoride. It's poison. It's poison, okay? Now, brief, really short and quick. Uh, okay, real quick. So I wanted to go to, I wanted the astral travel, and I wanted to seek guidance from, you know, something above me right now because, you know, some people can see in the future. Some people can see in the past. And at first, I will see stuff like that, and I'm like, ha, that's fucking the, that's Looney Tune TV, Mom. What are you watching? You know, and and it's really it's really all you. I just heighten my sense of awareness. You know, it's all how you perceive things. If you are really close minded and you don't believe that kind of stuff, it might you might be like, "Yo, this guy's crazy." But if you have an experience like this before, then you might be like, "Hey, he's hitting it on the head." And but either way, um, so I'm just. So I just lay in the bed completely still at night and, you know, I focus my awareness in the middle, the center of my forehead, you know, to keep myself awake. And what that does is, you know, after maybe 30, 45 minutes, body starts to vibrate. I feel my feet going to sleep. Uh, you know, my legs going to sleep. My whole body's going to sleep. And, you know, I'm just awake. And so really what this what this does it it detaches my 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 spirit with from my actual physical body and they say this is because of the DMT dimethyltryptamine and basically it's it's like crazy like uh a whole bunch of cultures are into it um uh I'm trying to think of places. I mean, I know there's two peacocks in one place with a pine cone. The peacocks resemble um, uh, eternal life and uh, reincarnation, I believe. Don't quote me, but you can, you can quote me, but or you can correct me. But so 
But yeah, anyway, so I lay down and then I could exit my body. And it feels so good. So you try it. I want you guys to try it um, and face this juice, man. I'm telling you, boosted. If you can find it online, I suggest you buy it. You will not be disappointed. Uh, but man, we're all on boosted out here in the sticks in the Carolinas. So, but yeah, so right now it's like very peaceful and it's real. It's amazing to just have no worries, you know, uh, to, to, to really tap into all your chakras. You got to forgive yourself. Don't worry, you know, whatever things you you're holding on to, let go, you know, let go of your dead relatives. You'll, you'll see them again. Trust me. You'll see them again. You know, I could quote, I could say that because once you, I mean, energy cannot be destroyed. We live a physical experience, but we're energy, you know, and when our, when we die, our body separates, our astral body separate. And, you know, we move into, I guess, the lower, the middle or the higher realms or the higher planes, however. And, um, you know, the higher is like heaven, the lower is like hell, the middle is like everyday life, pretty much, I guess. And, but I, again, I'm not too deep into it, but I'm really, really amazed at what's been going on to me. And uh, I feel like I have a purpose in life, you know, that I could do this. I feel like, you know, one day, you know, I won't have to worry, struggle financially. I will, I will just be st- straight and happy. But, you know, I don't need that to be happy because I found meditation. <laughs> I found, you know, there's there, there could be nothing... Like some people fear death. I don't fear death. You know, it's whatever. You got a gun to my head? You got a gun to my head? Well, hey. I'm like, hey, well, I guess you're going to have to shoot me if you're going to shoot me, buddy. Because right now, I don't fear nothing. I'm just going to exit my body and then I'm going to come back into another one. <laughs> you know? So, but, but, hey, I'm not saying there's no truth to this, but I'm saying it's way more believable to me because I've experienced what it's like to see myself outside of myself because a lot of people they think this this is just them this is you this is you but but really I was out my body floating and I could see me on the bed you know so there's something else there's something else this doesn't mean I'm a Christian now this doesn't mean none of that this just means I'm still a free thinker you know, I never doubt that, but as far as like religions, I feel like that just enforces ignorance and all that other stuff, but hey, whatever. You guys have a good one.